the lord the almighty god means so we are sitting in the presence of god how many of you know that this today is the pentecost day pentecost day okay pentecost sunday huh? so uh, you know that uh, as uh, all the churches and the, all uh, i mean all over the world i think uh, the christians are uh, celebrating today as the pentecost sunday so i would like to read one psalm which is related to i mean uh, pentecost you know and the holy spirit so the holy spirit is the main my person in on the on the pentecost day and today i would like to read maybe psalm number 51 psalm number 51 and uh, i mean two three verses are related to the holy spirit in uh, that psalm that is uh, uh, verses 10 11 and 12 we are going to just read that psalm now if you have a bible you can just open it and uh, i mean look into that portion uh, psalm number 51 we will i mean read together if possible be gracious to me O god according to your loving kindness according to the greatness of your compassion blot out my transgressions wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin for i know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me against you you only i have sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified when you speak and blameless when you judge behold i was brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother conceived me behold you desire truth in the innermost being and in the hidden part you will make me know wisdom purify me with his soap and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me to hear joy and gladness let the bones which you have broken rejoice hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities create in me a clean heart to god and renew a steadfast spirit within me verse 11 do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your holy spirit from me restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit then i will teach transgressors your ways and sins sinners will be converted to you deliver me from blood guiltness O god the god of my salvation that my tongue will joyfully sing of your righteousness O lord open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise for you do not delight in sacrifice otherwise i would give it you are not pleased with bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit a broken and contrite heart O god you will not despise my uh, by your favor do good to zion build the walls of jerusalem then you will delight in righteousness righteous sacrifices in burnt offering and whole burnt offering then young bulls will be offered on your altar verses 10 11 and 12 once again create in me a clean heart O god let it be a a prayer this morning of every every believer every i mean a saint of god those who are sitting here today it says that create in me a clean heart of god we are here to worship the lord right we are here to worship the holy god we are here to worship in truth and spirit so let it be our prayer this morning it says that create in me O god a clean heart a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence of god hallelujah so we are in the presence of god now let us pray O oh lord do not cast me away from the presence of god let us all experience the presence of god each moment of our life man hallelujah let's all experience the greatest presence of god almighty god each moment of our life and it says like this and do not take your holy spirit from me hallelujah hallelujah in the old testament you know here david is praying lord do not take the holy spirit from me there are different debates on that whether 
they had in the old testament they had the holy spirit or something you know we are not going to into into that into that portion you know we know that in the new testament period we have the holy spirit how many of you believe that how many of you believe that we have the holy spirit hallelujah so we are worshiping god with the help of the holy spirit and we are worshiping god according to the infilling of the holy spirit hallelujah we are baptized by the holy spirit and we are infilled with the holy spirit and we are worshiping god in truth and spirit and with the help of the holy spirit that's the reason even we can also pray a lord and do not take your holy spirit from me because we can't survive this wretched world without the power of the holy spirit hallelujah so so as the, the lord has filled us with the holy spirit and the power of the holy spirit hallelujah let us also worship the lord let us also i mean glorify the name of the lord with that power of the holy spirit that's the reason he says like this and 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 he says in 12th verse yeah yeah it's like this restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit we were singing that song you know cleanse me right you know what what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus what a wonderful song it is hallelujah my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters children we are sitting in the presence of god it's only because of the of grace of god and the blood of jesus christ that we are here you believe that hallelujah hallelujah what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus christ hallelujah thank god for the blood of jesus christ thank god for the death of jesus christ man hallelujah so we will be i mean after the message we will be i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, partaking the holy communion just before that i was just reminding that uh, i mean uh, that that song what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus and it says uh, david in, uh, in in verse 12 restore me the joy of your salvation hallelujah we have the joy of salvation right we have the joy of salvation and sustain me with the willing spirit and uh, that willing spirit is our spirit the willing spirit is our spirit and the holy spirit is from god god is giving the holy spirit the spirit of god and the willing spirit must be ours then so if you and me are willing in the presence of god to receive the blessing to experience the presence of god i am sure that god is going to fill you all with the power of the holy spirit and we will worship the lord in spirit hallelujah so let us all sit in the presence of god with a prayerful attitude and this is the time for